What's up, calguns.net? This is Mike, Sarah's husband here. Yesterday, Sarah painted with her fingernail polish the logo, CMMG logo, on her AR-15 build here. And she asked me if I could touch it up a little bit for her. And I figured I would make a YouTube video so anybody else that wants to do it can see just how easy it is. So my tools are nail polish remover, standard, this is Sally Hansen Extreme Wear nail polish, pink, <laughs> for her pink AR. Uh, I also have some red. Then we're going to do the fire and the fire selector with. I have a few Q-tips for some of the fine detail. And I have a dust remover, a little can of air, which is optional, but it helps to get any dust out of there from the Q-tip or paper towel that might be left behind. So, shake the nail polish up. I was really surprised when Sarah showed me how easy this was to do. Thanks again to Vanilla Gorilla for showing her how to do that, suggesting it. So what we did was just kind of wipe the brush off to get it non-drippy. Apparently fingernail polish will not dry if it's too thick. So we just kind of paint it over it like so. Now keep in mind this is a second coat so I'm not going to go as thick as Sarah did before. I saw her paper towels afterwards and it looked like she definitely had a lot on there. She said it took a really long time to dry. But as you can see I am just kind of giving it a light coat there could still see, I don't know if you can see, but I can definitely still make out the letters through the fingernail polish there. a good coat gets on there I like to dab up and down a little bit to make sure that it's actually getting into the grooves of the stamping this is a second coat so again I'm not doing too much. And I'm going to sweep it again. Since this is a light coat, this should dry really easily. I did get a little off right there and a little bit up in there, but again, it is not an issue. I'm going to use some air here to just facilitate the drying and when this is dry we will be right back to remove it.